<laughs> Since Jeremy was last on the show, your life has undergone a radical change. Massive. Because you were on, you were talking about the Grand Tour, and, you know, that's where we think of you, behind mm. the wheel of uh, any number of improbably yeah. powerful vehicles. Yeah. Now, though, you are a farmer. No, that's stretching it. What happened was, is I had a farm, quite a big farm, it's a 1,000 acres, it's not like a small holding, and then a man... I had it since 2008, and a man farmed it for me. And then he said, oh, I'm retiring. This happens, you know, so I thought, well, I'll do it myself. Wow. Which is the stupidest decision I've ever made. <laughs> in my, I thought farming was a part-time thing. You know, you just put seeds in the ground, weather happens, food grows, and then you sell it. And yeah. then you get a subsidy check and you buy a Range Rover. How hard can it be? <laughs> <laughs> Ended up calling the farm diddly squat, because that is how much money you make from farming. <laughs> and it is a full-on... <laughs> it's a full-on 20-hour like day, if you're lucky, yeah. seven days a week. Wow. But so you're doing this properly, then? You're not just pretending to do uh, this? No, genuinely properly. I mean, for example, in the middle of the first lockdown, it was the lambing season. So I'm up at the lambing shed, the lambing barn, and they're coming thick and fast. We've got about 75 sheep. And then the vet was there helping me out, but because of the pandemic, she couldn't come within two metres of me. And I'm saying, oh, Christ, what am I going to do? And then she's got one sheep that's in trouble and there's another one obviously having a difficult birth. So she said, you've got to go in there. So big Harriet glove, you know, the big long one yeah, you see yeah. in all those vets. Yeah, yeah. And so... And in I went. So I'm about here. <laughs> OK? And then the sheep started to look at me in an odd way. <laughs> And the vet was going, can you feel its head? And I was going, no, honestly, no, nothing. Not head shapes, it's got legs. I was going, no, nothing. Go deeper. So, really properly in there. I've got a horrible feeling I know where this is going. <laughs> well, after a while, when I was fully up to here, and the sheep was really looking at me in a cross way, I said, how many holes does a sheep have <laughs> at the back? I have two. Which, so, when you say, are you a farmer, yeah, the yeah. simple answer on, on that evening was no, most sheep farmers yeah, would know yeah, yeah. they'd gone in the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I now know, but I didn't know then. So, that was... That was bad. And every time I go to see the sheep now, I can always tell which one it was, cos it just stands... <laughs> Thank God it wasn't your string-back driving glove. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more purchase. No, it was a full Harrier plastic bag. And, but you, you were filming as well, because uh, we can all enjoy this journey that Jeremy went on. It's a new series called Clarkson's Farm. It's on Amazon Prime. 11th of June, it starts. And genuinely, it's amazing. It's laugh-out-loud funny, which is even more amazing, because I don't think you set out to make something It was funny. supposed to be a love letter to the British countryside and let's stop being rude about farming. And, and it, it, yeah, I think there are some gentle moments in it. Yeah, but it's very funny as well. I mean, Thank mainly you. it's funny because you're so useless. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what I love about it is you see Jeremy making one big stupid mistake after another because, of course, he is a big stupid man. And what I loved about it is I realised I would make the same mistakes. <laughs> this is the great thing about farming. It is basically you get up in the morning and then people shout at you because they know what they're doing and then you think you do. You've got a check shirt and you've got muddy jeans and you've got big boots and you think you're there. You've even got the tan, which we had this time last year, you know, because it was so hot. And I was there, and I just couldn't do anything, yeah. and then you knew you'd made a mistake, and then people came and shouted at me.